Additive manufacturing um, is, a, is, a, is obviously an innovative technology, but the key to high performance, for, particularly for this industry, isn't necessarily creating something new. Uh, what we're finding is that most companies are chasing performance from the designs that were actually perfected decades ago. So a little bit of history about the liquid rocket development. So the first person to successfully build and launch a liquid rocket was Robert Goodard on March 16, 1926 in Worcester, Massachusetts. And then now space applications are beginning to change. So as the change is really a lot of look, a lot of uh, emphasis on the satellite industry, and rocket innovation is the thing that's really holding them back right now. So going from satellites going from the size of a you know a small bus to a, now a loaf of bread, uh, they're much lower in cost, allowing op entrepreneurs to get more involved in creating uh, new applications. Launcher is a team right now on a 10-year journey to send small satellite to orbit. We're building a launch vehicle that will be able to send 300 kilogram of payload uh, to lower orbit for our customers that will be a satellite company. Pretty much most of it, what's inside the container, which we'll look at, is the test stand. In the test stand, you can think of it as a deconstructed rocket. The biggest difficulty in launching an orbital vehicle is building the actual engine. So let's look at the front. This is our 3D printed 500 pound force uh, liquid oxygen RP1 uh, rocket engine. We have 57 cooling channel and the kerosene actually comes here, goes through small one millimeter cross section channel through the metal and then comes back out there before getting into the injector. Traditionally, manufacturing this type of part uh, requires millions of dollars of investments in custom machines to, uh, to brace them together and to, and to basically fabricate them. Now with 3D printing, you can now print the, the chamber and the nozzle and the throat as a single part. It's never been that easy thanks to this advancement. My name is Greg Hayes. I'm the Director of Applications and Consulting at EOS North America. And what we did with Launcher, which I think is really interesting, is we helped them as a small team think about how to design their component so that it can be produced additively, so that they can get the, uh, the features that they want in a reliable way from our technology. We worked with them doing design changes. They came down to Pflugerville and we did a Design for AM workshop, taught them to design rules and then built the first couple sets for them. EOS built the uh, initial parts uh, as a benchmark. They handed it over to us as the contract manufacturer able to take these parts to print and actually uh, deliver working production parts. New Lab together with EOS is allowing entrepreneurs like us to get involved, you know, raising millions of dollars, not yet tens of millions of dollars to get going. Um, and and we, we think that that's a major change for the industry in general, not just for startup, but also for established player. So uh, today we'll be doing 15 seconds and uh, eventually we'll get to about two minutes uh, of a constant runtime. watching this video on 3D printing in the liquid rocket engine industry. If you're looking for additional educational and webinar 
content from EOS, please click the link below in the description. Otherwise, like and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Thanks.